lose belly fat. The major reasons that belly fat is so bad, most adults are aware of the fact that obesity is a major problem and that it is only getting worse despite that knowledge. We know that we are getting bigger but can't seem to grasp the concept of trying to eat smaller portions, making better food choices and trying to increase the amount of time we spend moving around. We need to stop using every convenience that has been developed and actually do a little physical work. While we need to lose weight overall, it is even more important to try to lose belly fat, the so-called spare tire that settles around our middles, rolling over the waistband of our jeans and making us feel lumpy and bumpy in the process. Belly fat is not just fat in the traditional sense of the word. It may actually be dangerous. There are several myths that you may encounter when you are trying to lose belly fat, myths which may actually be keeping you overweight. Why belly fat is dangerous, it is important to lose belly fat because of the way that it is created and what it may mean to the body itself. Fat that is found right around the middle, especially in those who are apple-shaped, can mean a thicker layer of internal fat around the organs, the so-called deep layer of brown fat. This fat increases the risk of heart disease, diabetes, and other chronic conditions. It is also more difficult to lose belly fat than other types of fat because it is so deep in the body. This brown fat is also typically the last to be burned by the body no matter what you are trying to do to kick off your weight loss efforts. In addition to being physically unhealthy and dangerous to people, belly fat tends to be more obvious than chunky thighs or a generous backside, causing it to be more unattractive than other types of fat. You cannot hide a roll of belly fat as easily as you can thick thighs, for instance. It may be necessary to lose belly fat so that you can keep your self-esteem. Some of the myths surrounding belly fat, at work, ab machines, supplements, pills, lotions, and creams will not help you lose belly fat, at least not in the way that they will claim to. After all, you should understand that there is virtually no way to spot reduce. You cannot point at your tummy and say that that is the only area you are planning to lose weight in and ignore your thighs or backside. Your plan should be to lose weight everywhere, not just to lose belly fat and then to tone up. Again, you cannot simply work on one spot and tone it while the other areas stay flabby and untoned on purpose. You do have a basic body shape that you will have to deal with. Some people are built like rulers, straight up and down whether they are overweight or not. Some people are built like an hourglass and some are built like pears or apples. Even when they are at their normal weight, they will have that shape to them, so it is important to keep in mind that your weight can change but your basic shape will not. It is also important to note that you can overdo your exercise efforts especially in certain areas of the body. If you are doing hundreds of crunches every day, you may not be able to lose belly fat as quickly as you would like to but you may be building up thick and bulky abdominal muscles underneath that fatty layer. Once you do lose the fat then, you may find yourself still looking like you have a tummy because of the muscular layer that has replaced the fat. A final myth, there is no one particular food group that is automatically sent to any specific part of your body. You cannot lose belly fat because you have stopped eating carbohydrates. A piece of cake is not earmarked by the body for your thighs nor do potato chips migrate straight to your backside. You gain weight in your body based on a number of factors. It is your body and its genetic makeup that decides where new fat will be created, not the foods that you eat. Options for weight loss, when you are ready to not only lose belly fat but the other weight that you have problems with, you will need to find the right way to get the task accomplished. You don't want to fall victim to fads, nor do you want to deal with the boring and flavorless diet plans that have you giving up in frustration before you have lost even a portion of your weight. You also do not want to try to use a diet that is so low in calories that it becomes unsafe for you. You do need protein, you do need carbohydrates, and you do need fat. You need flavor and attractive foods that please the eye and the palate. You need a little color, a little sparkle, and a little zing. You can lose belly fat by incorporating a few simple little changes rather than trying to go overboard and change everything about the way that you eat and exercise. Remember that protein, including protein supplements like protein taffy and protein twist from Protocol can be a great between meal snack because it takes longer to digest and will stop you from feeling deprived even when eating fewer calories each day. Spreading your meals out evenly over the whole day also keeps you from feasting and then starving as the day progresses. The more work you make your digestive system do, the more your metabolism will work for you. Eat small meals about 2 to 4 hours apart from each other, end the day with a small, protein-based snack and then kick off the following day with a protein and complex carb-based breakfast and you will have the energy that you need to lose belly fat and the rest of the fat as well.